Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late on Friday in my part of the world last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest Insider Preview build to the Dev Channel Insiders, build 26120.3000. So just a quick video to give you a quick overview as to what's new and some changes and improvements that are now available to the and for the Dev Channel Insiders. Now I would say the key highlight for the latest Dev build is that Microsoft is introducing new and improved battery icons for Windows 11. And they say that these icons have been designed to communicate battery status of your PC with just a quick glance. And key changes include colored icons, as we can see, to indicate charging states, simplified overlays that don't block the progress bar, and an option to turn on battery percentage, which I think is a very nice move in the right direction. And these were hidden features a while back, which I posted on, and now have made their way into official testing. Now, just to break this down, Microsoft says that when your battery icon is green, like here at the bottom, this shows that your PC is charging and in a good state. When it's yellow, as in the middle, the battery icon will let you know that your PC is using battery in energy saving mode. And as you may well know, this automatically happens when your battery is less than or equal to 20% to preserve power. And if the battery icon is red, you have a critically low battery and should plug in your PC as soon as possible. And apparently the new icons will begin showing on the lock screen as well in a future flight. And I think this is a nice move. I think the battery icon seriously needs an upgrade in Windows and Windows 11. And um, I think this is a step in the right direction. And I don't see why this wouldn't roll out eventually to an up and coming stable version. And then Microsoft, as mentioned, says they're also introducing the ability to show your battery percentage next to the battery icon in the system tray, which apparently is a highly requested feature. And I do agree with that. This makes will make the world of difference just to spot exactly where your battery level is without having to kind of give yourself a guesstimate like you currently have to um, on Windows. And this can be turned on or off in the settings. So here we've got battery percentage, display battery percentage on taskbar, and you are able to turn that on and off, which I think is a nice move. And then the next is a feature that's made a comeback, where after temporarily disabling uh, the feature to address some issues in a previous build, Microsoft is beginning to roll out a new gamepad keyboard layout for the touch keyboard in Windows 11 again. And this is a feature that seriously kind of can't get off the ground and we hope now that Microsoft addresses the issues and can eventually launch this to the stable version because this has been met with quite a lot of positive review. So this is a new gamepad keyboard layout for the touch keyboard in Windows 11 and this change introduces the ability to use your, use your Xbox controller to navigate and type and this also includes button accelerators as an example X button for backspace, Y button for spacebar. Additionally, the keyboard keys have been vertically aligned for better controller navigation patterns. So that has re-entered testing once again after being temporarily disabled. And then they've added a couple of functionalities to the narrator scan mode. So that's an accessibility feature. And then they've improved the support for web search providers in Windows Search for the EEA. And then the last one just to mention for this video, which I have covered in previous videos, suggested actions that appear when you copy a phone number or future date in Windows 11 are now deprecated. So Microsoft says that with this build, uh, it's beginning to disable the feature and that's across the board. So suggested actions is no more. And then we've got a couple of fixes for the dev channel, which is normal because it's still early days. And because it is early days, there are quite a list of known issues, mainly to do with recall and click to do, which are both the controversial so-called AR features that Microsoft is once again testing. And we certainly hope that they continue to work on that before they release it to the general public, because when they released recall a couple of months ago, it was quite disastrous and was met with a lot of feedback. So I hope they sort out those niggly issues and all the concerns before they decide to roll it out to the stable channel. So guys, that's more or less what's new in last week's Dev Channel build 26120.3000. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.